The implementation of victory plan depends solely on Ukraine's partners and not on Russia, Volodymyr Zelensky has said. Immediate fulfillment of this strategic document will make it possible to end the war no later than next year, the Ukrainian president is confident. The fate of the next decades is determined precisely by the actions of our global coalition to defend Ukraine and international law. It is absolutely legitimate for us to turn to our partners for support in this battle. North Korea is already in a coalition of criminals with Putin. Our intelligence records not only the transfer of weapons from North Korea to Russia, but also the transfer of people. These are workers for Russian factories, people to replace Russian citizens killed in the war, and personnel for the Russian army. Everyone sees the Iranian regime's help for Putin as much as China's cooperation with Russia. And we must be honest, if we don't strengthen now, Putin will strengthen next year in time to reject diplomacy forever. Ukraine's victory plan includes five points and three secret additions that only allies can get familiar with. The first point is Ukraine's immediate accession to NATO. Russia has taken advantage of geopolitical uncertainty in Europe. The fact that Ukraine is not a member of the alliance encouraged the dictator to start a war. Now it is time to end the uncertainty and show Putin that he miscalculated. The Ukrainian president is sure. The second point of the plan is defense. Ukraine should not only strengthen its defense capabilities, but also move the war to the territory of the aggressor country. We are not naive. Ukraine does not and will not believe that most Russians realize the depths of Russia's moral decline. But they must feel the fall of the Russian army, and that will be a loss to the ideology of war. There is a clear list of weapons that can keep our warriors strong. And thanks to the Kursk operation, we saw that Putin doesn't have the strength to hold on when we push really hard. Therefore, the key to implementing this second point of the victory plan is the successful continuation of operations by the Ukrainian defense and security forces in certain areas of enemy territory to prevent creating buffer zones on our land. The third point of Ukraine's victory plan is strategic deterrence of the aggressor country. Like the second point, it contains a secret addition. Kyiv proposes to deploy a comprehensive non-nuclear strategic deterrence package on Ukrainian territory. The fourth point of the plan is Ukraine's economic potential. It is not only about strengthening sanctions pressure on the Kremlin, but also about the economic growth of our state. This part of the document also has a secret annex. The fifth point is designed for the post-war period. After the war, Ukraine will have one of the strongest military contingents. The experience of the Ukrainian army can be used to strengthen the defense of NATO and Europe. Ukraine's victory plan does not imply any territorial concessions from Kyiv, the office of the president of Ukraine stressed. Firstly, if you stimulate the aggressor, any transfer of Ukrainian territories, any freezing of the conflict is a loss. It is an incentive to continue aggression, and in that case, obviously, he won't stop the war. Secondly, you give the aggressor time to work on his mistakes. And thirdly, you give other countries that take a neutral position or even support the aggressor to realize that this regime is strong and that it is better to keep close to Putin, to help him with resources, and thus increase the resource base for future aggressions. The victory plan was presented to EU leaders at a meeting of European Council at the level of heads of state and governments on October 17th and 18th. Earlier, the head of Ukrainian presidential office, Andriy Yermak, said that the Russian Federation would also have an opportunity to study the document at the second peace summit. As for the possible participation of Russian representatives, our position remains unchanged. We do not rule out the possibility of the presence of Russian representatives at the Second Peace Summit. And that's when the plan may be presented to them. Andriy Yermak, head of the office of the President of Ukraine, on the ear of Ukraine National Teleson. U.S. President Joe Biden and presidential candidates Kamala Harris and Donald Trump were the first to review the Ukrainian victory plan. The document was also presented to the leaders of the United Kingdom, France, Italy and Germany. Reported by Anastasia Tarnavska, Yulia Hranovska, UATV News.